Hey guys, so today I'm going to show you some pretty interesting stuff. Wilds of Eldrin, new, not new Compena, what is that called? Oh, Doctor Who, Doctor Who, and Ixlon, and Rudy is just pumping to the moon, man. For a guy who, let me tell you what Rudy is, okay? He is a guy who pumps stuff to sell to his dumb Patreons. And they buy boxes and boxes of this stuff, not realizing that in probably two weeks, maybe not even two weeks, probably in the two days, that there will be a Black Friday sale on Amazon. And these boxes, he is selling them for $89 a box with $10 a month fee. Uh, they can get on Amazon for probably $70 a box, maybe $75 if Amazon's feeling especially greedy. Amazon has better customer service because they have people. Who deal with customers all day long. So they're trained. Rudy is customer service. As, as you've seen with Sorcery and the Playmat issue. It's one dude. It's one dude. He refuses to hire anyone to help him. Run this very large operation. And you're seeing flaws in the operation. At least I am. Now why did he not promote Locana? Because he doesn't sell Locana. So he only promotes things that are he is currently selling. So this is how it works. This is a pump and dump, right? You promote the product, MetaZoo. And then once you're done dumping the product, you say, oh, wow, it was a terrible deal. And then once your patrons lose so much money and something happens in their life, they have to sell back the product to you. They bought for $89 a box for $8.99 a box. That is how Rudy does business. And he's done it so often. That I can say that people are absolutely, absolutely getting mad. They're getting mad, right? Um, I would definitely suggest something. Because in time, you know, Rudy still has all these fans telling me to delete my videos and blah, blah, blah. Um, you know what? I canceled my Patreon for Rudy. And stated in the exit survey that I didn't get what was advertised. I still had till the end of the month. And went back to see if there was anything interesting going on in terms of sales. However, to my surprise, my account was blocked by Rudy. Funny, someone who talks like they have thick skin is, is wealthy. Sure acts thin-skinned. I guess criticizing his kid's art really changed a man. Yeah, he is sending his little lemmings right, to attack me. But I have something called the block button, right? Um, I will say, right, um, that the MetaZoo stuff, I mean, I, the reason I'm making MetaZoo videos now is he is uh, losing that audience. That audience, if you read his comments, it's, oh, oh, back to um, what I had to say before. Views are down, you know, unless it's an outrage video against Wizards of the Coast. Views are down. No one wants to look at Ixlon. No one wants to open more Rudy boxes. This is not working out for Rudy. Um, and if you watch my other channel, you know that the views are up on that channel. You can see kind of like a divergence. Even his magic videos are not getting as many views as they used to because people don't want to get hosed. This isn't 2020 where you can lose $700 just for fun right you can lose $2,800 just for fun people are actually angry I can tell you why they're so angry they were promised a dream whether or not you believe the dream was realistic they were promised it and they went to zero they don't even know how to sell and something like the magic 30th anniversary the reason that he hates the product so much is he can't sell it I guarantee you, if he could sell Magic 30th Anniversary, he would definitely love it. Locana, not even a word. It's so weird, right? Locana, this IP that is super hot that everyone be talking about. You never hear Rudy talk about it. It's sold out. At Like, when I went to five different local game stores with my girlfriend's nephew, it sold out every game store, guys. Locana. They didn't even have, like, a trial deck, which is weird because the trial deck shouldn't be selling, right? I thought they. I thought, oh, that's a trial deck. No, no, that's nothing. I was like, are you sure? Yeah, yeah, it's nothing. <laughs> okay. You know, um, it is so interesting that there is so much better product out there uh, that 
Rudy doesn't promote simply because he doesn't sell it. The only product that he promotes are the products that he sells. And that's not a card gamer. That's not a collector. That's not anyone but somebody who's a pump and dumper. And that's the proof. The proof is in Lokana. Right? Like he doesn't even take a moment to talk or acknowledge its existence, right? Because he's too busy pumping and dumping MetaZoo. Lokana is way more popular than MetaZoo at this stage. Uh, in my opinion, right? And, you know, I get offered these partnerships. I'm going to straight up tell you this. I don't respond back to emails. I'm positive Lokana wanted to do a deal with Rudy today. He absolutely would sell out. He would drop MetaZoo in a heartbeat, right? And I just don't get it. Like, he doesn't have any customer service. He doesn't have any employees. He doesn't have anyone doing shipping by himself. How is he going to run a piece grading a grading company to supposedly compete against PSA, who has like fifty to one hundred employees? BGS, BGS is in Dallas, by the way. They have a huge office, okay, and that's Beckett, right? So that's not even like a, the PSA is much bigger than Beckett. PSA is global, also, by the way. I think it has PSA Korea, PSA Asia. So he's going to do all that while pumping these games. All right. Gotcha. Guys, he already told you that new sets are not investable. Why the hell is he saying that Ixlon and Doc Doctor Who? Who the F cares about Doctor Who magic cards? Well, if you listen to Rudy, you should buy about 100000 and keep it as an investment. Because it will definitely go up in price. 